I'm Gareth Davis and you have just entered the Davis Locker. It is quite simply the greatest movie-based infotainment show on the entire interwebs. Now before we crack on, if you've not already done so, we would love it if you'd head on over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when we post new content. Right, it's Tuesday the 17th of March and let me check. Yet, coronavirus is still all over the shop. That's it! No, 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 breathe! Find your happy place. Ah. Ah. The UK cinema chains Odeon, View and Cineworld have all confirmed that they are closing the doors due to the pandemic. Odeon have said in a message on its website, following government guidelines, Odeon cinemas are closed until further notice. Mm. And in addition, actor Idris Elba has posted a video message stating that he has tested positive for COVID-19. So look, uh, this morning I uh, got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. Yeah, and it sucks. Um, listen, I'm doing okay. Uh, Sabrina hasn't been tested and she's doing okay. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have any symptoms. Um, I got tested because I realized I was um, exposed to someone who had also uh, tested positive. I found out last Friday that they were tested positive. I quarantined myself and got a test immediately uh, and got the results back today. Now, first and foremost, we want to make sure that everyone watching this video is taking this situation seriously. If possible, self-isolate to avoid contracting and spreading the disease. And also make sure you are checking in on friends and family, especially if they are in the high risk category. Okay, but now to bring a little bit of lightness to the situation, we have created the Coronavirus Film Challenge. Now this is just a little bit of fun to while away the hours as we all engage in social distancing. Right, let's head on over to the whiteboard to see how it goes. Each day, a letter of the coronavirus will be the start of a film title. We'll all give it a watch and give our opinions about it in the comments below. Yesterday was 28 days later. And today is heat. And just so you're ahead of the game, tomorrow is the Evil Dead. After that, we'll be taking suggestions for the remainder of the letters. So if you know any good pandemic, virus, outbreak, self-isolation type films, please let us know in the comments. There you go. It's as simple as peas. Now, we had some fantastic comments yesterday. Thank you very much for everyone that took part. We had some amazing conversations on YouTube and across our social media platforms. We are at The Davis Locker on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you log on there and let us know exactly what you thought about the films. Right, before we crack on, as ever, let's go get some snacks. So today we've gone simple. Just a cup of joe and the new Twix salted caramel. Three hours later. So there you go. I've chosen heat today because one, it is one of the symptoms of coronavirus, a fever and hot spells, but also a bloody love heat. It was released in 1995 and directed by Michael Mann, and he brought the two titans of the acting game together, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Now, I absolutely love the way Michael Mann creates his films. The cinematography is brilliant, and just the aesthetic is oh, on a par with some of the best in the business. Now, at the heart of Heat is a simple cat and mouse plot. However, there are some really interesting subtexts that go all the way through the film, and the finale just gives the utmost satisfaction. Now, in 1995, it was the first time that De Niro and Pacino had acted opposite each other. Yes, they did feature in The Godfather Part 2 together, but they never shared any screen time. And in Heat, there's only actually two scenes that they share together. One is the aforementioned climax to the film, and the other is a fantastic sequence in a restaurant, where these titans really provide an acting masterclass. Now what is interesting, Robert De Niro felt that the scene should not be rehearsed, so that the unfamiliarity between the two characters would seem much more genuine. Michael Mann agreed and shot the scene with no practice rehearsals. You know, we're sitting here, you and I are like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. And now that we've been face to face, if I'm there and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But I'll tell you, if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, 
brother. You are going down. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in? And I gotta put you down. Because no matter what, you will not get my way. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Or, who knows? Or well, maybe we'll never see each other again. I absolutely love that scene, it's electric. Now, as I said before, this is not a deep dive into these films. What we wanna do is encourage discussion across YouTube and our social media platforms. So let me know, what's your favorite scene? Is this the best Michael Mann film? Have De Niro and Pacino been better elsewhere? What are your favorite films? Please let us know across social media, YouTube, and if you prefer to download the podcast in audio format, it's now available on Apple, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And as ever, we've got a lovely little website, www.thedavislocker.com. So go and check that out. We've got on there news, reviews, old Trailer Top Trumps episodes, and any original content that we performed. So, okay, just a reminder, tomorrow's episode will all be about the evil dead. This is The Davis Locker. I'm Gazzadee. See ya.